Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Charles Maring and today I want to talk a little bit about hard drives here in the studio. Uh, I got a new hard drive in so I wanted to talk about storage and backup with 4K video and photos and all those things. But also, what do I use when I'm on the go for drives and editing? What do I deliver things to clients on? And I thought we could go into that a little bit, but first let's roll that intro. <laughs> There's the editing side of things, certainly what we have to do to get things out the door, but then there's also how do we deliver things to clients. Thought we'd talk a little bit about that today. Uh, I don't normally do unboxings per se of videos, but today I'm gonna make an exception to the rule and we'll just kind of talk about some different drives that I use along the way as well because it's an opportunity to do so. Now this is a Thunder Bay 4 from OWC, Other World Computing, and I am a big fan of their products because they just seem to last uh, and it gives me reliable backup. This is my fourth OWC Thunder Bay 4, so I'm, I've been very loyal. I have no relationship with them, so there is no kind of uh, reasoning that I'm talking about this other than I enjoy their products. So let's open it up. Inside we've got a little tutorial on how things operate, certainly quick start guide, all those good things. Uh, of course, we have all of our cables here as well. Uh, this one uh, is a little different than my others because they didn't have in stock the uh, Thunderbolt 2.0. They only ha had the Thunderbolt uh, 3.0, and so that's what's in here. I'm going to have to go to Apple and pick up a cable, but the 3.0 is here, and there's my power cable. There's also more information here on Soft Raid. Now, Soft RAID is their software for setting up RAID 5 or any other RAID that you want. I run this in RAID 5, so I purchase straight up drives that have already been formatted for RAID 5 because that's what I use. I'm using this for backup more than anything else, so that's what makes most sense to me. So let me just pull this bad boy out here. They're boxed incredibly well, so I never worry about things being damaged, as you can see. And inside of this box, we'll find our drive. Now, RAID 5 is incredibly important to me because it means that what it's doing is it's writing across all four drives that are here. And it's backing up at the same time, but without using twice as much data. They have a way to do this, which is kind of interesting. And then I've talked about these drives before, but I figured this would be an opportunity to kind of bring it out again. Let's see what this says here. Uh, maybe I can even cut to it while we're at it. Uh, for best performance, Soft RAID must be installed. For instructions, please see page two on Soft RAID Quick Start Guide. So I already have um, the Soft RAID software installed on my computer because I'm running four more of these. So for me, all it should be is plug and play. Once you install it, if you need to add another uh, RAID 5 drive, you just plug it in. Soft RAID works across all the drives. Uh, and it's, it's really that simple, which makes it a lot easier. We have some keys here. Let's open this thing up and see what we've got. Let me actually cut to that angle for you too. Let's see. So inside you basically, this is a 24 terabyte drive. So I have four six terabyte drives. If we just kind of do this, you'll see they just kind of pull in and out. We got a little bracket here that works really well. And so these are already pre-formatted RAID 5. And so I could just go to town. Now RAID 5 is great for backup, like I was saying. It backs up all my data as I go, but it's, a, it's not the fastest RAID you can do. Oh, I got this off a little bit. Um, so it's not going to allow me to do everything, meaning when I'm working in RAID 5, yes, it's backing up all my data at all times, but it's a little bit slower performance. So I have no problem editing on my computer if I create proxies of my 4K video off my Lumix systems. I have no problem doing it if uh, I create optimized media. I can run multiple streams of 4K multi-cam uh, multi edit, no problem at all, works just fine. But if I work with the footage right off the camera, the .mov or .mp4 files, I can run that all day long with one or two streams, but if I decide to multi-cam edit three streams, four streams and plus, I can still do it, but it's a little choppy to watch on the screen. 
But uh, I don't have a problem with that because it saves me a lot of data along the way and at the end of the day, we're just going to have to you know, get in and edit it up anyway and chop it up even better. So this is pretty much what I use to edit on here in the art studio. Now, if I'm going on location though, uh, generally, I will run a drive like this, which is just an external Thunderbolt 4 drive. I was just on a cruise ship uh, photographing and filming a celebrity wedding. Was able to uh, edit multiple streams of 4K video right off the camera files using just one of these uh, Lacey or Lacy. I'm not sure how quite you say that, but uh, drives here with Thunder Thunderbolt 2.0 right to my laptop. But then there's client delivery as well. What do we do with client delivery? Well, there's two things I do. I deliver a lot of things on these little USB drives. They're customized with our little logo. Uh, these are little wooden drives. and They just have our logo kind of beautifully imprinted in it, as you can see, uh, and has our name on it. And I get these from photoflashdrive.com. They're really elegant. They have lots of elegant packaging. So we will also sometimes have some elegant packaging as well, as well. Up, to six, uh, up to 128 uh, megabyte uh, or gigabyte, I should say, U, uh, USB drives that you can plug right into a TV, play our videos from that simple, USB 2.0 or 3.0 available. And then they also have these little hard drives, which are great as well. Uh, this isn't the newest version, but the newer version, you can actually customize with your logo and everything on it as well. And it's just a little drive uh, that's small in size. And what I love about this is they have um, 500 gigabyte hard drives with your logo you can put on them or even terabyte drives and so that's the direction we'll go when we have to go above and beyond uh, for our clients and we need a terabyte. Now if I have to go above a terabyte which does happen sometimes with our wedding films so we'll do a full length edit, a feature edit, the raw footage, uh, a highlight edit, so on and so forth uh, and we have the photographs. Sometimes I have to go to a two terabyte drive and I'll generally just re you know reach out and grab like a general purpose G drive or something like that. But beyond these little hard drives and how we use it, we'll also use Vimeo downloads and just allow our clients to go to Vimeo, password protected page or site and allow them to download uh, or just enjoy and stream uh, that way as well. So it's another way to kind of get things out to clients. So this is my new Thunder Bay 4 24 terabyte hard drive running RAID 5. Should be really easy to set up and I've created a little home for it. It's just gonna sit right down in here. You can see my other drives right above it. And I will go get myself an adapter momentarily uh, at the Apple Store and we'll be up and running this because I am literally out of data once again. I've got, I've got maybe one and a half gigs uh, or terabytes left on a drive, which I like to leave a couple of terabytes available at all times because there are projects on there. I may want to export something futuristically. So once I get down to that level, I know it's time to go ahead and make that change and make that purchase. You can see I got a new piece of art behind me. Uh, it's not new to me, but it's new kind of to our set here. And I, you know, sometimes I just need a change of pace uh, and a change of view to add a little bit of creativity here in the art studio and art gallery. So new piece standing up here that I just absolutely love, a lot of fun. I've been painting nonstop lately uh, as well. I got a new piece underway. And that's about a wrap on the set here and all of the drives that we use here in our studio when it comes to 4K video editing and all those good things. I appreciate you, everybody. Have a great one.